Letters by the Bunch. I hope you're all doing well today. Um, so I have Miss Victoria with me again today. I'm going to wait just a second and wait to see if anybody jumps on real quick um, before I get to explaining what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. I think I see somebody. Okay, so I hope you are all doing well today. Today, I am going to actually do a small tabletop sympathy piece with a cowbell. So, you know we are at Mississippi State University, and one of the things um, that we do here in Mississippi State is for all of the sporting events, we ring cowbells. Now, I don't know who started that, but that's what we do. And so, I had a customer come in and she wanted a sympathy arrangement made with a cowbell in the center. And so, she brought me the cowbell and on the back she's got it, um, she has it engraved with their names. And so, this is the thing, is that Mississippi State University um, is maroon and white and Ole Miss which is the um, University of Mississippi is blue and red. And so, the wife is an Ole Miss fan and the husband is a Mississippi State fan. So today, I'm going to do the sympathy arrangement is, um, it's for the wife passed away. And so, we're going to do the colors in Ole Miss colors and we're going to add this, this cowbell into the arrangement as a gift. And so, Victoria is here with me. So, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask questions. And Victoria is going to tell me what you're saying. So, I'm going to make flowers while Victoria talks to us. Um, so, what, I'm, what I've done is this is what we, what we call a design bowl. It's a long, low design bowl. And I've placed um, Oasis down in the design bowl. The Oasis is wet. So what you do with Oasis, and I'm sure I've told you before, but I'll tell you again, is you take a reservoir, like a sink or a bucket, you fill it with water and you lay the Oasis on top of that water. It soaks up the water and so it holds water for your arrangements. So I've taken that Oasis and I've got some waterproof tape and I am going to tape my oasis down into this container. Miss Janet Banning, Miss Sandy Swisher, and Miss Sue Dean all say hi. Hello ladies, thank y'all so much for watching. I am glad you're here on this Tuesday afternoon. I cannot believe it's the end of January. It's crazy, 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 isn't it? Okay, so I am going to start with, first of all, I'm gonna place my cowbell down onto the oasis and I'm just marking the, the, the space where it's going to sit. Because I need to make sure, um, so what I did was I marked my oasis, I don't know if you can see, but I marked it with a little square. I just want to make sure that that bell is gonna sit flat on that oasis. I am not going to tape the bale into the container or into the arrangement because I want to make sure that it doesn't have any um, residue or anything. My customer is just, she's going to pick up the arrangement, she's going to take the arrangement and when she delivers it, then she's going to add the bale to the arrangement. So um, I am going to take some wood picks and I am just going to stick them right down into um, my oasis. And what that's going to do is it's just going to help my bell stay in place when she goes to place the bell. Now, first of all, what I'm gonna do before I put the bell into the arrangement is I am going to green it out. And Victoria, will you do me a favor and go mm -hmm. grab me some leather leaf? Yes. Please, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna start out, goodness, my nose is itching. I'm gonna start out with my white hydrangeas. Now, Ole Miss is blue and red. Um, so I am going to tint these white hydrangeas blue and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So this is Just for Flowers Design Master Paint. It is actually paint made specifically for fresh flowers. This is called Delphinium Blue and the reason I chose Delphinium Blue versus Hydrangea Blue is Hydrangea Blue is real baby blue. It's a real, real soft blue. I wanted it to be a little deeper in color. So I'm just gonna take this hydrangea and I am just going to 
top it with a little bit of paint. You can come on. Thank you, darling. Thank you, ma'am. Um, so I'm just, and what I'm doing is I'm taking that plunger and I'm just going pop, 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 pop. I'm not holding it a steady stream of paint because I don't want it to drip, number one. And it looks a little more natural when you don't do a solid, solid blue. Okay, so there's my blue. I am also gonna take, this is Design Master and this is Olive Bright. It's just a lime green. And I am going to come back in and pop it with just a tiny bit of green to make it look more natural and not so painted. I'm gonna pop it a little more. So you're just going to kind of layer your paint. Okay, so there's one blue hydrangea. And then I have a second hydrangea that I'm going to do the same thing with. And in that little bag, it kind of got a little squished, so all I'm doing is fluffing it back up. to green out my container. I'm going to let these dry just a minute and I'm going to take a little bit of this leather leaf and I am going to green out my container. Miss Gigi Dinkins says just amazing. <laughs> Thanks Miss Gigi. Paint is a wonderful thing. I don't know who invented flower paint but whoever did was a wonderful inventor. I tell you the reason I like paint so much is because it's just like these blue hydrangeas. If I carry white hydrangeas, I can make them any color that I need. Um, now for me personally, as a designer, I want my flowers to be natural colors. I don't really want strange colors. Like during the fall, you could get tinted hydrangeas and they looked like candy corn. Now for me, that's not my favorite thing. I don't really want things to look um, fake. I want them to look natural. Um, but flower paint is a wonderful thing because if you don't have blue hydrangeas, you can make them blue and they look natural. It's wonderful. Miss Tracy says hello. Hey, Miss Tracy. Thank you for being here this afternoon. And Miss Tanya King said, I swear, are you looking? Um, Miss Tanya, we are located in Starkville, Mississippi. We are North Mississippi, I guess. Um, and we are the home of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. So if I talk funny, it's because I'm from Mississippi. <laughs> if we talk a little funny, and we do, don't we, Victoria? Yeah. <laughs> we sound a little different. All right, so what I've done is I just based this arrangement with this leather leaf. Now, I'm gonna tell you leather leaf is not my favorite greenery, but it's inexpensive and it does the job of covering up my base. Next, I'm gonna come back with some pretty foliage or some, some different um, prettier foliages. I've got um, spiral eucalyptus or baby blue eucalyptus. This is the eucalyptus that smells really pretty. I also have, this is called Italian Ruscus. Um, Italian Ruscus kind of does a little bit of a, what would you say, Victoria? A little bit of a um, vining effect, just really pretty and a darker green. I also have some seeded eucalyptus and a little bit of silver dollar eucalyptus. Now, I'm not going to use all this greenery, but I'm going to use some of it to kind of fill in and cover up my, um, cover up that leather leaf. So I'm going to take, this is, actually this is seeded eucalyptus, but it doesn't have a whole lot of seeds. But it's kind of that pretty gray green, and I love it. 
Now, the one thing about seeded eucalyptus, which is different than the baby blue or the spiral uke, it does still have the eucalyptus fragrance, but it's not nearly as fragrant as the spiral. And it's not as sappy. It doesn't get you so sticky. Um, the spiral eucalyptus, like if you go to strip off the foliage, it gets your hands so sticky and it's really hard to get off. Like you have to use, um, I mean, you have to use a lot of Dawn dish liquid to get all of that sap off your hands. So all I'm doing is I am just taking, that's gone. I'm just taking these pieces and I'm just breaking them. That has a lot of pretty seeds. I'm just breaking it apart, just like that. And I'm just tucking it right into my little arrangement. And I use that fingernail. You can use a knife or you can use scissors. All right, so I have that eucalyptus. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of this pretty spiral. And like I said, this is what has all that sap. And it smells, it smells so fragrant. <laughs> just so pretty to me. I really, I'm just a eucalyptus girl. Some people aren't. Some people don't love it. But I love it. Quite honestly, I wouldn't mind just having, like at Christmas time, uh, I guess, I guess it was, it was the Thursday before Christmas. So it was the day before Christmas Eve, the 23rd, I did a live. It was on a Thursday. And I did an all greenery arrangement for my dining room table. And let me tell you guys, I did. I watered it. I kept it well watered. I didn't throw it away until a week ago. And so it lasted forever. And that's what I like about greenery is greenery will just last and last. Um, and if it's, a, if it's a pretty arrangement with just lots of greenery, I'm a happy girl. Okay, so I've got lots of pretty greenery. Oh, that eucalyptus has my nose itching. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this Italian Ruscus and see how it kind of has a pretty binding effect. This has a darker green foliage, and so I really like the, um, I really like it mixed with that lighter green. I just like that, um, that texture and that color variation. I just think it's really pretty. So I'm just taking it the same with that fingernail and I'm just popping it. It pops really easily. And like I said, you can absolutely use scissors. I just find it's easier not to pick up a, a tool if you don't have to. Now it always means I have not so pretty fingernails, but I have found some good fingernail polish that actually stays on that I can paint my fingernails at home which is really nice. So I don't have to go to the nail salon all the time. All right, so here's our greenery. And it really is pretty. You can see how it's, it's really just a pretty arrangement all the way around. Okay, so next, this is where I'm going to take our cowbell. And I have tucked, I don't know if you can see, but I've got some wood picks tucked right down into the top of this arrangement. And I am just going to set that cowbell right on top. Now the reason I'm going to, I'm going to just design my flowers right around that cowbell. Then my customer can pull the cowbell out and place it right back on top when, when she gets it delivered to um, her friend's home. So what I'm gonna do with my, um, with my hydrangeas is I'm gonna show you a new trick that I've not done before, but I was watching a YouTube video the other day with a floral design school, and I have always said you can dip flowers in allium, but what they do when they work with hydrangea stems um, in Oasis is they always use allium instead of quick dip. Allium keeps that hydrangea's head really crisp. And so I decided that's how I was going to start using 
um, in Oasis, I was going to start using Allium. So this is, actually this is called Pickle Crisp granules and it's just, all it is is allium. I got it from um, Kroger and it's in the, it's ball is the brand. And so I'm going to open that up. I'm going to take this hydrangea and I'm going to cut it the length I need it. I'm going to dip it down here in some water. I have a bucket of water right here and then I'm going to dip it in this allium. Now what, the reason I dipped it in the water first is because if I made that stem wet, that alley would stick to the stem. So that's the reason I did that. But I just wanted it to stick because if the stem is dry, the allium is not gonna stick, you know, on the end. So I just take it, I'm cutting it at an angle, dipping it in that water, and then just dipping it right into that allium. And you can see how it's kind of white on the end. Now what this is going to do is it's going to keep this hydrangea well hi hydrated. And I learned some more hydrangea tips that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna do some videos for you and show you some more hydrangea tips because it was amazing. It's so funny how you I've been in the business for goodness gracious, 24 years, and you learn something new every day, which is a wonderful thing. You've just gotta keep your mind open and be willing to learn, right? Um, these are really pretty deep red Gerbera daisies. I love their little dark centers. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to tuck them. Joanne Mazzoni says, hello, first time watching, where do you get your greenery? Oh, thank you, Miss Joanne. I'm so glad you're here. Most of our greenery comes from Florida. We have a truck, so we are in Mississippi. We are in kind of North Mississippi. We have a truck that comes from Pearson, Florida. And he, some of the things that are Florida grown, he, he cuts himself, like he has a farm there and he cuts a lot of the foliage himself if it's Florida grown. And other things he has shipped in, like eucalyptus, I don't think they grow the eucalyptus that we use in Florida, but it all comes on that Florida truck. And he brings all our really pretty green plants when he comes also. Um, he has beautiful things. Beverly Anderson says it's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Miss Beverly. Thank you. Okay, so I've tucked in our red Gerbera daisies just kind of down here at the front. I'm almost wondering, I'm almost thinking this hydrangea is a little high because it's hard to see my cowbell. So I'm going to pull that guy out and I'm going to adjust him just a little. It's important that my cowbell shows so you can kind of see it a little better. And I'm going to take this little guy and move him over because I don't want to cover up the main attraction of the arrangement. Now, I didn't tell you this, but I took these um, Gerbera daisies, and I don't know if you can see it very well, but I took a little florist wire and I wrapped it, I tucked it into that calyx and wrapped it all the way around that stem. Now, the reason I did that is because it's going to help me make this Gerbera daisy mind. They don't always mind very well, kind of like the children. But with that little wire, you can kind of adjust his head and make him make him kind of do what you want him to. They tend to have they tend to get um, pretty stiff, and they don't want to move, and and they want to stand up the way they want to stand up. And so, if you add just that little bit of wire to it, it kind of makes it do what you want it to. This is blue delphinium, and the school colors, Ole Miss school colors, are again blue and red. And so that's why I'm using a little bit of blue delphinium and the blue hydrangeas. Miss Janice Langford says hello. Hey, Miss Janice. <laughs> hey there. How are you today? And I'm just, I took two stems there, and then I'm going to tuck this third stem just right over here on this side. Now, this arrangement's not really going to have flowers on the back side. It's really just going to be, um, all the flowers are going to be on the front looking at you. I do have pretty foliage on the back, but I'm not going to put any of the flowers necessarily. Okay, so next, these are called heart roses, and it's hard to see from, from my play, from where I'm standing. Um, it is a 
the petals tend to kind of make a little shape of a heart in the very center. And so we really like using these heart roses because they have lots of petals. Not all roses have the same petal count and this one just has a lot. And so they open really, really pretty. Um, now what I'm going to do with this, because I'm using Oasis, is I'm gonna take another little, um, little wire and there's some right here and I am just going to wire this rose. I just want to make sure that these heads stay standing up and I don't want them to bend over. Um, and so that's why I like to, when making an arrangement, I always like to wire my roses. So I'm just taking that wire and poking it right into the calyx right here and I just wrap it round and round that stem I'm cutting that stem at an angle. I'm just tucking it right down into that oasis. Now, when you deliver an arrangement in oasis, or if you receive an arrangement and it's in a container like this where you don't see the water line, you need to water it every single day. A lot of times we forget, if you can't, you can see that you don't see the container at all. If you don't see the water line, you forget it needs water. And so when you receive flowers like this, always water it. Go set it in the sink and add water to it every single day. And what that will do, it, it will draw out the life of your flowers. It'll keep them alive longer. Miss Tracy said it's pretty. Oh, thank you, Miss Tracy. Thank you, ma'am. Red rose right down deep. All right, and now I'm gonna come back with just a little more foliage and our arrangement is made. So this is called Silver Dollar Eucalyptus, and I'm just gonna take just a little bit of it and give us just a little bit more foliage. When we deliver these arrangements, we always tuck a, an extra card on them that says, I'm thirsty, add water. Because it's just one of those things that if you don't do this all day, every day, you don't think about it. You know, it's not something you think about things needing water. And so we try to remind our customers that it's very important that you add water to your flowers. Now, I'm gonna turn this arrangement around and show you the backside. Now, you can see how it's not really pretty right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a little more foliage and I'm just finishing off this arrangement. I'm just adding just a little more greenery back there. It's always important to finish off the back side. Now, not everybody's gonna look at the back side. I know that that is not something people are going to focus on, but you don't want your mechanics to show. It's always important that you cover up anything that's not pretty back there. In a church arrangement, in any arrangement that goes to a friend, never leave the back um, blank or naked. Always cover up all those mechanics. And there we go, guys, there is our arrangement, our sympathy arrangement with a cowbell tucked in the center. Thank you all so very much for um, being here this afternoon with us. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm going to run outside and take a picture so you can see it and I will see you all real soon. Thanks guys.